I can't believe I just found another one. Check this. Afternoon, everyone. Absolute gorgeous day today. I'm back at the river in Bishop Storford. If you don't know where that is, um, that's in the south of England. And I've been here quite a few times. Found absolute loads of stuff. Found a gun, knives, police baton, even parts of World War II bombs. And... Absolutely sweating. It's roasting today, but can't wait to get in that cool water. So this is a bridge where I found the two inch trench mortar. Uh, past the river. Anyway, I'm gonna find a way to get in and jump in. Hey, awesome. First, cow, first coin found with me a uh, homemade sand scoop. That's amazing. Only cost a pound. <laughs> I can see it without even uh, emptying it. Little hook off a bungee. Not bad. Yep, I think it's just that. I think it's uh, another one of these metal rings. It's two I found now. I'm going to leave the camera underwater so you can see all the fishes because there's absolutely loads here. Not too sure what type of fish they are. Could be in the scoop. Yeah, oh, there we go. That's why it's a good uh, signal. It's a bottle top. There we go, straight to the top. I took some finding. <laughs> uh, 2002 for that one. So I'm getting some coins out of it. But we need to find all the coins, that's what I'm after. Well, keep walking. We've still got all this to do yet. Whoa, there we go. 
Uh, I think it's an old five pence. It's bronze coloured. Hey, there we go. That is another 2B. <laughs> just, be, just been metal detecting and uh, been leaving all my stuff on that tree. Just uh, like bottle tops and a bit of change what I've been finding. And uh, some kids, <laughs> some kids have took the money. So, wow, you found a really old zippo. Wow, that's well cool. <laughs> it's got a cannabis leaf on it. That's mental. Middle of nowhere as well, look at it. Like, the past way behind there somewhere, so. Don't know how he's managed to get in the river. That's cool to find. Wow, that's a super old can of coke. I don't know the date is on that. But I've never seen a, a ring pull like that. So, that is very, very old. Oh, cool though. This uh, macro cruiser is finding lots, and that was buried under quite a bit of rock. So, it's cool. A little uh, sand scoop. My homemade sand scoop is doing brilliant as well. So, I'm having a brilliant day today. Just found this, but no idea what it is. No idea. It's crazy. It's like some sort of handle. But, I don't know. Oh, nope. Looks like it turns. Uh, do I actually know? Does anybody... Does anybody have a clue what that could be? I have no idea. I can't believe I just found another one. Jesus Christ. At least, uh, it looks like there's nothing in it. Might be like a mortar loom. Not another one. Bloody hell. Yeah, it's empty. Thank God for that. <laughs> yes, at least I can keep this one. <laughs> oh, that is absolutely brilliant. An old mortar. Yes, there's nothing inside it, so I can keep it. That is a find of day. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm so excited. That is amazing. So that's two mortars and a bomb fuse I found in this river, and an old gun, a telescopic kosh. Countless knives, oh my god, this river just keeps on giving. That is the find of today. Wow. I'm well chuffed with that. Well chuffed. <laughs> so this spot is a, 
<laughs> pretty interesting stretch. So pretty much from where my little strainer is, I don't know if you can see it in the water, to about where the end of the macro is pointing. This bit, I've had the mortar, I put them in the bush for the time being, mortar, and two uh, random things, but they all give off a really strong signal. And I've got another strong signal again. <laughs> So you can find out what it is. Yeah, it's like a... What is it? Hmm, as far as like a bracket of a pipe, Got some quite a few uh, interesting things I'm pulling up. No idea what it is, but I'll put it in the pile and uh, see what else I can find. <laughs> hey, look at them! <laughs> wow, somebody's uh. Someone's doing a bit of bird watching around here. That's well cool. <laughs> wow, got some right finds today. Oh, my hands are full. This macro cruise is awesome in the water, honestly. Amazing balls. Whatever this is, I can see the edge of it. The funny berry. Oh. Oh, ho, ho. yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That is heavy. Wow. Oh, look how old that is. That's really old. Oh, that was, that was well and truly buried, that. Oh, it's heavy. I don't know if it's just full of mud or what. Jesus. That is old. Everything's got crusty on it and everything. Look how old that is. Wow. That's super old. It's all crusted up and everything. Oh, this is why you always leave your metal detector switched on when you're going uh, heading back. Because uh, heading back up to the car, I don't know, I missed it on the first way down. I suppose it's can't cover all the river. But yeah, on my way back up, I found a pair of binoculars. And that cash box, that's awesome. Oh, well chuffed, well chuffed. Just need to uh, get inside it now. But yeah, this is what I found so far. So this little uh, sand scoop I made out of a colander um, is absolutely brilliant, especially at, cap at finding coins. That's my, probably my best find, an old World War II, uh, I think it's like a smoke mortar or an loom. Uh, basically there's nothing inside it, so that's safe now. Found uh, the little Zippo lighter, a little cannabis leaf on the front. Uh, not, not too sure what this is. Don't know if it's an old, uh, I have no idea, I'm not even going to try and guess. Uh, yeah, no idea what that is. Another thing, really, really heavy. Another thing, <laughs> I ain't got a clue. Uh, that looks like you can twist it, or you used to be able to twist it at one point. But uh, not anymore. Um, on my way back, found these pair of binoculars. Quite a cool find. I did drop them, and that popped, so I don't know what's inside that. Uh, yeah, made like a little popping noise. It's cool little pair of binoculars. And then, this big heavy thing, this is really buried. When, we did, uh, when the macro found it, all I could see was a little lip, and the rest of it was uh, buried under the gravel. Um, same with that actually, that little mortar was, um, you couldn't see it, I, I had to uh, dig down about half a foot for that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to uh, try and drop it, see what's inside it. 
because I know people don't like w waiting for the next video to see what's inside. So I'm gonna try and bash it on the corner and get it open. <laughs> oh wow. I think somebody's put a brick inside. Why would somebody put a brick inside of a cash box? That's new. Uh, it's all rusty so it's quite old. And um, by the feel of it, don't feel like there's anything inside. Oh yeah, baby. Mm-mm. Yeah, I'll give it a wash off. But it feels like mud. Oh. No, that is. Yeah, give it a wash off. And uh but yeah, I can't believe Somebody went to the effort of putting a brick inside it. I suppose it'll weigh it down. Just give it a wash off, eh? It's like padding for gold. <laughs> 